Imagine a world with endless clean energy. Scientists believe laser technology can eventually get us there. And a big step in that direction is happening at Colorado State University. One of the world's most powerful lasers may come to Colorado with the help of the Department of Energy and a company called Marvel Fusion. Here with us today is Grant Calhoun. I'm saying your last name correct? Yes. Grant, Grant Calhoun with us from CSU to talk about this. Now, this is a $150, uh, $50 million partnership between the Department of Energy, CSU, and this fusion company. Where's this money going to go? What are we going to see happen here? Right. Well, actually, out of that $150 million, that's not counting the Department of Energy's current investment in the facility. So they've actually helped CSU get to where it is to be able to engage in this partnership with Marvel Fusion. Okay, so we're talking about lasers here, and when you bring up lasers, you know, you think about, you know, science fiction issues. Uh, lasers and fusion power, if you can kind of really explain how a laser could get us there someday. Sure. So the, the kind of high energy density plasmas that are, that are created and studied by these very high energy short mm -hmm. pulse lasers simulate the conditions and the temperature you might find in the middle of the sun. Yeah. So it's essentially creating a nuclear reaction, but instead of a fission reaction with all the negative uh, byproducts of that, it's a fusion reaction where the nuclei come together and have uh, still a huge uh, output of energy. And this is different because with nuclear, it's, it's dirtier, you have that byproduct that comes out. This would, if, if, if scientists are able to get there, this would be much cleaner. Much cleaner, there's no real byproduct and you get more energy out than you put in. And if you can scale that, that's where it can really change. And I guess the goal here is once this technology is developed, if scientists are able to figure this out, this, this, the goal here would be to commercialize it, put it out there in the public. How would that change our lives? You know, scalable, efficient uh, energy of that type would be clean and would, it would it would reduce our need for fossil fuels and every other energy source. You have unlimited clean energy. It would change humanity. How far away are we, do you think, from reaching this milestone if we get there? There's a lot of energy and money going into fusion energy right now. And laser-based fusion energy is a subset of the overall thrust for it. They're looking at 6 to 10 to 15 years for operating um, power plant scale facilities. So maybe power plants based on this technology in the next 10, 15, 20 years? That's what the companies seeking it are, are telling us. Yeah. We'll be studying it at CSU from now until whether that they succeed or not. Yeah. So we're talking about high powered equipment here. You have this big laser. It's high powered. Is there any risk with this type of equipment? There's uh, radiation that's involved with any, any um, amount of energy that high that's also creating that nuclear reaction. But it's, it's, uh, it's not a danger as long as you have radiation shielding and things like that in the facility. All righty. Well, this is a really interesting topic. What else should people know about this project coming up? What's going to be the ba major impact for CSU? It's really a perfect example of academia and industry coming together to mm -hmm. solve a big challenge for humanity like this. And it maximizes the public money that's given to CSU to do research. So now we get tens of millions of dollars of private uh, support and laser equipment going into a CSU facility that you know, we will benefit from the yeah. expertise and from all the, the new uh, science that comes out of it for, for anything beyond fusion. Really exciting stuff. It sounds like the beginning of a, of a superhero movie. I hope Big so. laser comes in, something happens, and then somebody's you know, a superhero all of a sudden. But of course, Stay tuned. Of course, we're talking about real life here. <laughs> all right, thank you so much for coming down from uh, CSU to talk about that with us, Grant. Thank Appreciate you. that.